oh my f am I the asshole for not making coffee how my fiance wants me to this is this is the phallic keyword search by the way just this post is kind of long so just remember as we're going through this keyword search we got here from the word phallic weird title i 23f no but this has been a point of contention for a while my fiance 25m is a foodie and is extremely particular about a few things one of them being coffee we use a manual grinder get distilled water the water in our area is really hard and according to him affects the taste but i don't notice anything and we have an aeropress and a metal coffee filter to make the coffee i'm very much not a foodie unless being a sour patch kids connoisseur is a thing my fiance weighs his coffee beans to make sure he's using the exact right amount, changes the setting on the coffee grinder depending on whether he's using the AeroPress or the metal coffee filter, measures the water, and if he's using the AeroPress, lets the coffee grounds and water brew for a certain amount of time before actually making the coffee. On the other hand, I use a scoop to measure my coffee beans, use whatever setting the grinder is on, but usually just use tap water, eyeball the water instead of measuring it, and don't let it sit to brew. And you know what? It's fine. It tastes fine. It makes me happy. The end. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Problem is, this really bothers my fiance. We've had multiple arguments about me making my coffee wrong. And it's very normal for him to badger me to weigh my coffee beans or switch the coffee grinder to the optimal setting while I'm making my coffee. If I'm making coffee for him, sure, I'll measure the beans and all of that jazz because I know that he can taste the difference, but I don't think that I should have to jump through all those hoops for something that doesn't affect him. On the other hand, he seems to be really bothered by this. Today, I was trying to scoop coffee beans into the grinder. He reached around me to put the scale he uses in front of me and asked me to please weigh my coffee beans. I was really frustrated because we've had this conversation so many times, so I snapped the word no at him. And he walked away and muttered, you too, saying that even though I hadn't said it, I'd definitely been thinking, fuck you. For the record, I wasn't thinking that. So am I the asshole for not making coffee how my fiance thinks I should and for sometimes snapping at him when he gets pushy about it? Edit number one. I don't know if this is important, but I drink decaf and he drinks regular. So I'm never making coffee for both of us. I'm either making coffee for him or I'm making coffee for myself. Edit number two, I set him down and told him that I needed to, I needed him to never comment on how I make my coffee and how I was making it. He repeated it back to me in his own words to check that he understood me. A counselor once told me that this is helpful to do in an argument, and then he agreed. Putting hard water through it does not damage it. As much as my fiance drives me crazy, I would never do something to damage his equipment because it's important to him. Edit number three, okay, people keep bringing this up. Google and arrow press because I don't feel like I'm explaining it. Basically, you push on a phallic symbol until you have coffee. And that's how we got here. Ah, uh, I could... Well... Yeah, she's being very reasonable. This guy's really controlling. Feels like it's not really just about the coffee. It, honestly, it feels... OP's fiance has some sort of like... Maybe it's like OCD or some sort of other like compulsion that literally makes him physically uncomfortable when he sees her making it a certain way. Cause the, the insist, like, cause it, it doesn't affect him at all. And how, how she tastes her coffee shouldn't matter, you know? And yeah, anyway, not the asshole, not the asshole. And we got here from phallic. Quack. So I've seen, I've seen company picnic uh, so many times today. So we'll, we'll do company picnic. Am I the asshole for not sharing my soda with a toddler? Yesterday afternoon, I attended a company picnic where family members of employees were also allowed. Among the attendees was my coworker, Samantha and her son, Jax, 18 months old. At one point during the picnic, I grabbed a Coca-Cola from the cooler and was drinking it. Jax happened to come by, saw me drinking the Coke and tried to grab it from me. I held it up out of his reach and when he wasn't able to grab it, he started screaming. 
Samantha comes by to see why he's screaming and sees that he's trying to grab my, my drink. Samantha tells me, give me your Coke and I'll pour some into his bottle for him. Oh. I told her no. First of all, I had been drinking directly out of the can, and I don't think that that's hygienic, especially during a pandemic. Second, I don't think all that sugar and caffeine is good for an 18-month-old child. In the end, Jax continued screaming until his mom finally grabbed a new can of soda from the cooler and poured some into his bottle. Not a good idea, IMO, but I kept my mouth shut. Samantha is now saying that I should have just given her my soda so she didn't have to open a whole new can and that I was making a big deal out of nothing. My other coworkers are divided. Some think I did the right thing, Others have said that while Samantha probably shouldn't be giving soda to her son, I should have just handed over my soda when she asked and not made a big deal out of it. I'm not sure what to think anymore. Am I the asshole? I would have just let it happen. Like the kid isn't slobbering all over my drink. It's not a big deal for me to just be like, yeah, sure, pour some into his bottle. I don't care. I don't think it's a good idea to give a, a one and a half year old soda, but like, it's not my child. I don't care but that's that's a me thing it's not your drink to demand a portion of you know but also when was this posted three years ago yeah 2021 height of the pandemic right probably not super sanitary they're valid for saying hey this touched my mouth let's not share right exactly yeah yeah not the asshole not the asshole even a little bit like i wouldn't mind sharing but that doesn't mean that you have to you know but that, that said, I wouldn't mind sharing right now in this moment. Three years ago, I'd be like, fuck no? What do you mean? No. All right, new keyword. But how did we get here? Oh, company picnic. Company picnic, eh, I was expecting a little bit more for company picnic. Maybe let's try company party maybe. Am I the asshole for grounding my daughter after she called me a liar? My husband, M47, and I, F40, are getting divorced. We have three kids together, Emily, F17, M15, and M4. When my husband and I met, we both were married to other people. Oh. When my husband and I met, we were both married to other people. He was my ex-husband's co-worker. We met in one of those company parties. We... We hit it off and we had an affair before we before we got divorced to start dating. Emily was born shortly after we got divorced. The tea is piping fucking hot instantly. Holy shit. We never felt like we should tell all of this to our kids when they were growing up, mainly because they were too young. Neither him or I had kids with our exes, so we just throw away our wedding photos and pretended neither of those marriages happened. When slash if the kids asked how we met, we told them it was through common friends. So you, so you are a liar. Well, now that we're getting divorced, Emily has picked her dad's side. I can't really stop her from seeing him whenever she wants because our custody agreement is not over yet. So she often goes to his house after school, spends the weekends with him. He told her the truth. He's trying to get her to believe that I'm wrong in all of this, although all I'm doing is supporting my son. He's trying to get her against me and against her brother. She told her that he has always wanted to tell them the truth, but I didn't allow it since it would make me look bad. That's obviously a lie, but Emily believed him. When she came back home, she started arguing with me about why I never really told the truth. She called me a lying bitch. I tried to explain to her the truth and what her dad is trying to do. She told me she never wants to see me again and such. I got sick of that and grounded her, took her phone and sent her to her room. This morning, she wasn't talking to me. All she told me is that she hates me and will try to leave to live with her dad. My coworker thinks I was an asshole for grounding her. She's a confused teenager. I don't know what to believe really. So I'd really like some outsider perspectives, please. So they're getting divorced and the dad is pitting the kids against the mom, yes. And this is where you all get jabated once again. Edit. Our oldest son came out as trans. His dad isn't supportive at all. Quite the opposite. That's why we're getting divorced. He's trying to get Emily against her brother. Edit again. Emily is not the product of an affair. I got pregnant with her after both our divorces were over. 
OP is still an asshole. Lying has nothing to do with the actual issue going on and grounding her daughter isn't going to get daughter back on your side. True. Yeah, your husband is a transphobic piece of shit and is pitting your kids against you, but also you're a liar. You lied. Your daughter also called you a lying bitch and is being manipulated by her father. Also kind of sucks. I think everyone sucks here. There's room for growth though. Growth, there's potential. There's potential for growth here. Am I the asshole for kicking my best friend out and telling him to grow up after he called my baby belly gross and weird? I've known James since we were 11. He's been my best friend for a long time and we're so close. People ask us all the time if we were siblings because we look alike and we even share a last name. He lives close by and is very much integrated into all parts of my life. I had a crush on him growing up and I asked him out a couple times when we got a little older. He always declined and said we were just best friends. He's really goofy with me hey, yuck. and treats me like I'm his little sister. And over time I came to agree with him. We are 27 now and still the best of friends. My parents treat him like a son and honestly, he's family. A couple of months ago, I had, oh, I had a one night stand and found out I was pignat. Being as I have PCOS, I am over the moon because I was always told that the chance of me conceiving was very low. I'm keeping this gorgeous miracle baby and I can't explain how many tears of relief I've shed. I've always wanted to be a mom and I finally have a chance at this. I have my own home, have savings, and I'm in the right place in life and I'm so happy. But when James found out, he was also over the moon. He thought it was the coolest thing ever, but then gradually dropped off the face of the planet and he never wanted to hang out anymore. Won't go to the gym with me, is too busy for the cinema, doesn't feel like going to the mall, can't come with me to visit mutual friends, nada. My mom and dad invite him over every so often for dinner, and so at the most recent one, I cornered him and asked why he was avoiding me so much and if he had an issue. He confessed that he finds my growing baby bump disturbing and a little gross. He said, I know it's really weird of me, but it just creeps me out. I found that so demeaning and hurtful, and I burst out crying and called him an immature asshole and told him to get the fuck out. He apologized and left, and I haven't heard from him since. I'm so upset that he's ru ruining a lifelong friendship over my goddamn baby bump. I wanna reach out, but I just feel so alienated from my own body and made to feel gross. And I'm not sure if, it, if I'm the one that's being difficult or if it's him. He doesn't wanna hurt your feelings by telling you, hey, I think your belly is gross. So he is distancing, right? But she cornered him and he's like, I'm sorry, I think your baby belly is gross. Maybe he's worried that their friendship will change with the baby. I mean, everyone sucks here. They should talk. Yeah, obviously communication needs to happen. And like, she obviously blew up in the moment. And I think that kind of sucks. Having your like literal immediate best friend here say, hey, your belly is gross and weird and I don't like it. Granted, in a sort of like kind of respectful way, hearing that's going to fucking suck ass. Yeah, he's clear he's clearly happy for her, but he doesn't want he doesn't want to be around her. That's on him. That's a boundary that he can have, I think. I'll tell you the Reddit, the Reddit flare here is no assholes here. Uh this one's really tough. I don't think it's wrong for you to feel hurt by his comment, but I also don't think it's wrong for him to express how he felt. He clearly attempted to share your joy when he learned about it, so it's not vindictive or anything. It could be a maturity thing, but it might not be. OP responds, you're completely right. Overall, he's usually very considerate and sensitive, especially towards other pregnant slash parent friends in our circle. So I think it was just, I was just surprised at the difference with me. Of course, I'm closer, so maybe that's the difference. I'll apologize to him and see if we can try to make up. Yeah, with that comment, no assholes here. Yeah, that's incredible. Communication works? Let's go. Some fucking snaps in the chat. Some fucking snaps in the chat for some fucking communication Ws. Let's go. What's another keyword we could try today? All right, truck, we were gonna do truck. The top truck post. We have an update post here. Am I the asshole for exposing my parents' favoritism? My parents have always favored my younger brother. I was by no means unloved, but it was blatantly obvious who they cared about more. 
I worked a part-time job to get my first car, but my brother got one as a present. It wasn't new, but was much newer than my car. It was the same with just about anything else, like clothes, video games, and cell phones. I'm 18 and I'm taking a gap year before community college to work a full-time job to save money for tuition. But a while back, I heard my parents talking about how much they were going to pay for my brother's tuition. I secretly recorded the conversation from around the quarter and then came out asking my parents why they were going to pay for my brother's college, but not mine. They didn't notice my phone was recording and just said that my brother needs more help. I asked how so when I wasn't getting any sort of scholarship, and he likely wouldn't either. Then I asked a few more questions about why things have always been this way. They got mad and my father told me that perhaps it's time I moved out because they were sick of keeping a roof over my head. I pointed out I pay rent, but they didn't care. I left the room in a fit of rage, uploaded the video on two different social medias, and ranted about how this is how my parents have always been. After a few hours, my parents were pounding at my door. My dad was screaming at me about how I made them look bad. We fought some more and they left the room fuming. My grandparents contacted me later and said that they were appalled, then came to visit with a lot of the family the next day. There was a huge family intervention and my parents were made to sit on the couch and look at their feet while being told off. It was then I found out they'd been receiving money for years from my grandparents to help with family expenses. My brother looked like he didn't know what to do. So he sided with the rest of the family and said he's noticed how I'm treated as well. My parents gave me a huge apology that sounded forced. My grandparents have offered that I come live with them soon and will cut off the monthly payments to my parents. My father told me I should have never told the rest of the family and now won't talk to me. And my mother has been crying for days. So I'm starting to wonder if I went too far. So am I the asshole for exposing my parents' favoritism? Holy fuck. I was, yeah, like literally three quarters of the way to this post. I was like, yeah, this seems like kind of run of the mill favoritism sort of shit. No, we've got intra family embezzlement. Damn. But that was the first post. That's the original. We got here from an update post. Don't forget, there is an update post. I decided to go ahead and call my grandparents to accept their offer to move in. During the phone call, I asked them why there was monthly payments being sent to my parents. Turns out my parents were living beyond their means for a while because my mother quit her job to be a full-time stay-at-home mom. My grandparents decided to help out by sending them money monthly to help with my parents' mortgage and also to set aside some of that money for college savings for both my brother and I that was to be split evenly. Turns out my parents only planned to put that savings towards my brother's college. And that's also how they bought his car as well. So from now on, my parents are now on their own financially. Likely my mother will have to go back to work to help my dad keep up the mortgage. I confronted my parents and asked why they've always treated my brother as the favorite. Then asked if there was something I needed to know. Turns out there was nothing, literally nothing. I'm not an affair baby, not even an unplanned pregnancy. They just liked my brother more. I was mad as hell and we argued a lot before I left the room because I'd had enough. My grandparents showed up on Saturday with a moving truck. With a moving truck! There it is. There it is, a moving truck. My parents were floored when we started bringing in boxes to pack. My father got in our way and I reminded him how he said that I should move out, so I am. My mother cried some more and said that my father was just angry in the moment when he said that they had been counting on my... My mother cried some more and said that my father was just angry in the moment when he said that and they had been counting on my rent money to help with my brother's college fund. Not even to help with the mortgage, to help with my brother's college fund. I asked if that meant he would never have had to pay rent like I did when he turns 18. My father then said that since I was taking a gap year to work, then my rent money could have helped him with my brother, which means they never intended for him to get a job while going to college. My grandpa was enraged and confronted my father, saying he raised him better than this. 
He chewed him out, saying he's never been more disappointed in him and they will no longer receive any more financial support. Then said he'd disown them both if they ever tried to retaliate against me for exposing them. My father backed down and neither he or my mother said a word to me. I had a bit of an awkward conversation with my brother as we said our goodbyes to each other. And that was it. I just got in my car, waved, and drove off. I'm now fully moved into my new room at my grandparents' house. It's a little smaller, but nice. And my grandparents are very welcoming. I'm going to keep working hard to move forward from here, and I appreciate everyone's support. The commenter quoted, they had been counting on my rent money to help with my brother's college fund. They said, at that point, any doubts you have should have disappeared. You're leaving forever. And their only thought is, but what about money for us and your brother? Your parents are irredeemable assholes. Also, I really like your grandfather. There's never a good a good reason to treat a child like this, but there was no reason at all. They just they just chose to treat him like shit and favor their brother. You just want our game no contact for life. Yeah, literally. Yeah, not the asshole even a little bit. Your parents fucking suck ass. Your parents suck so bad, dude. Quack. Princess, get it, Ben. All of this sweet, get it, Ben. Get it, Ben. Uh. What? We just found that Grandpa is now addicted to Viagra. Nobody is taking it harder than Grandma. Justin beeps brows. I can't even be mad because you're paying the pun tax. I can't even be mad.